This is also the case for the restriction of movements into and out of Nairobi, Kwale, Kilifi, and Mombasa, counties where the highest incidences of COVID-19 have been reported. These simple steps, avoiding handshakes and unnecessary contact with bodies and surfaces, regularly washing hands with soap, sanitizing, keeping a safe social distance, wearing masks, avoiding unnecessary movement and staying at home are the most effective arsenal against the deadly coronavirus and will be part of how we live and relate for the foreseeable future. As government, we appreciate and commend the millions of Kenyans who have taken this directive seriously and are conscientiously complying with the protocols as issued and updated by our health ministry. Those not committed to these measures should know and understand that they are putting their lives, those of their families, friends, and millions of other Kenyans at death risk. This kind of reckless negligence, ladies and gentlemen, is unacceptable. To protect ourselves, every Kenyan should go the extra mile and perform the patriotic duty of ensuring that their families, their friends, workmates, and neighbors adhere to these protocols as issued by government from time to time. We must not negotiate our safety and survival. Let all of us be our brother's keeper. Many Kenyans are, however, asking, while government is telling us what to do, what is government doing about the COVID-19 pandemic? And allow me to say the following. President Uhuru Kenyatta has taken personal charge of this situation and mobilized government at both levels, together with development partners, the private sector, and friends of Kenya to accomplish a number of objectives. Our first key task is to assemble and provide a body of accurate and verifiable information to the public and to work with all partners, including the media, on its dissemination so as to empower citizens to take the right decisions and make the correct choices. Information on the nature, threat, and remedies of the novel coronavirus and COVID-19 at this point in time is the foremost duty of the government given that citizen behavior and action is at the heart of defeating this pandemic. Success stories around the world indicate strongly that effective management of COVID-19 is attributable to available or availability of accurate information and efficient public uptake use and response. In preparation for the possible escalation of the numbers of COVID-19 cases from hundreds into thousands, the government has designated and equipped different hospital and other facilities, including the 600 bed capacity Kenyatta University teaching referral and research hospital in Thika, while every county has been tasked to do the same with their health facilities around the country. Further, we have directed the Ministry of Education to work with counties to identify boarding schools that can be used as isolation facilities for COVID-19 cases when the situation reaches there. The government is working with counties through KEMSA to stockpile medical supplies necessary for the management of cases of COVID-19 in diagnosed persons, while the Public Service Commission is undertaking recruitment of additional health personnel, including 1,000 doctors to be advertised this week, so as to build adequate capacity to manage increased numbers 
of COVID-19 victims.